Hello friends, as we have seen in our last video, a number r is called a rational number if it can be written in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. For example, 1 by 2 is a rational number where p is equal to 1 and q is equal to 2. Now let us take 15 by 7. Can we do that? We have learned decimal division in earlier classes. So 2 times 7 is 14, remaining 1. We put 2 above, 1 by say 7. Here we enter the decimal part. We continue, 7 minus 7, we write 1 above, then remainder is 3, 3, 0 and so on. So if we continue, we will get 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, it's a decimal part and then it will come again, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. That is 15 by 7 is equal to 2.142857, 142857, 142857 and so on. That is non-terminating decimals also reside on the number line. And how do we write? We write it as 2N142857 with a bar over it. This bar tells that the, this part is over the number line. This bar tells that this part will keep repeating over and over. So it is non-terminating recurring decimal which also reside on number line. When talking about non-terminating recurring decimal, it is not necessary that the whole decimal part will repeat. Let's take an example, 4 by 15. We get 0 0.2, then 10, we get 0, 6 times 15 is 90, again the remainder is 10, we do 100 by 15, we get 6, and 6 will keep on repeating. So the answer of 4 by 15 is to 0 0.266666 and so on. And we write it as 0 0.26 with a bar placed over 6. But we got non-terminating recurring decimals from rational numbers like 15 by 7, 4 by 15 etc. Which means non-terminating recurring decimals can be represented as a rational number. Let's try. Reverse way. Decimal 2 fraction. So let's say 1.62 where 62 will repeat. So x equal to 1.626262 and so on. We need to get one repeating pattern on before the decimal. So to get the two decimal before we need to multiply it by 100. So 100 times x will become 162.626262 so on. So 100x equal to 162.626262 and so on and x equal to 1.626262 and so on. If we subtract the 2, we get 100x minus x is equal to 99x and on the right side we get 161 as the decimal part would cancelled out. 162 minus 1 equal to 161. So x will be equal to 161 by 99 which is a rational number. So we represented a non-terminating recurring decimal into a rational number.